Welcome back. Today we're working on a DIY handheld ribbon mic. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Today you'll be needing some aluminum channel, some quarter inch magnets, a microphone donor body, some tweezers, an X-Acto knife, some puff guard material like speaker cloth, some screws, some acrylic, some copper tape, and the all-important aluminum foil. Dig in. Disassemble the mic. This is the beginning of the chassis. One chunk of quarter inch interior diameter aluminum channel. Got our work music. I'm going to trim off these ears. This will allow the rest of the chassis to fit inside. I tried to make this with just hand tools, so you'll see a little razor saw, some pliers, a hand drill, sandpaper, files. This is the acrylic for the rest of the chassis. I have a piece of basswood pre-measured to get the exact sizing, about a quarter of an inch. Sand the acrylic smooth. You'll notice I'm sanding both sides of the acrylic. This will give something for the super glue to adhere to. I'm using another basswood spacer between these magnets that's about a quarter of an inch thick. That'll be the final width of my ribbon. I'm using strong alcohol pads to clean everything before I glue it. Don't forget to lightly abrade your magnets and your chassis.
I'll cut a strip of this copper tape. This will become my ribbon contact points. Careful as you drill acrylic, it chips very easily. Stick your copper tape in here. Make sure it folds around at least once. I'm gonna solder this later. These are the contacts that the ribbon corrugations will sit between. I also use the same tape to make a shield that'll create a humbucking effect for the microphone. This is the humbucking shield. It's okay if it conducts to the chassis and one copper contact point, but it shouldn't touch both copper contacts. When cutting ribbons, always use a fresh razor blade. To crimp the ribbon, I use a little corrugating machine that I made. And to mount the ribbon, grab both ends and stretch it. After you have your clamps tightened, you now have a completed ribbon motor. I'm going to reuse these wires. Now I'll tin my contact points. And I'll also solder my contact to my shield. The yellow goes to the primary of the transformer, the shield goes to ground. Now let's mount your ribbon motor, transformer, and XLR connector inside the microphone body. I'm using acoustic insulating foam to mount my motor.
And there you have it. Enjoy your DIY handheld ribbon mic.